Do you want to know how a smithy produces gear? Do you want to know how the loot drop mechanic works? Wonder what the heck that town consumption is? I'll answer these questions and more. I've been getting the same questions in different places. Discord, YouTube comments, Reddit, and so forth. So I figured I'd make a video and answer them. Then I can point everyone here. I added chapters so you can skip to the one you want or refer back to it later. Let's get started. I heard on the internet if you use better quality iron in the smithy, it produces better gear. Nope. Other crafting materials used for input in the smithy do not increase the chances of getting better gear. For example, adding Themyscine steel or iron ore will result in the same random roll. And a side note, yes, you can use all the different crafting materials to feed your smithy. An overly simplified explanation. With a smithy in a town, it has a conversion rate for each tier of the gear. For example, the conversion rate for a tier 5 melee weapon is 0.1. The conversion rate is the amount of output produced each day. So, every 10 days, one tier 5 melee weapon is created. On that 10th day, one iron is consumed by the workshop to produce that weapon. What about all the modifiers? How does that work? When armor or weapons are produced, or dropped as loot, a modifier is chosen. Each modifier has a chance to hit. If none of them hit, then no modifier is used. If a sword was selected, for example, its chances are... Wait, I can get a tier 1 legendary weapon? You said in another video I couldn't. No. In that video, I said if you're crafting a tier 1 weapon, you can't get a legendary modifier. If one is created by the artisan or the smithy in a town, it can have any of the modifiers, including legendary. I only see legendary in loot drops, but not in towns. Yep, because there are rolled and dropped right then and there, after the battle. In towns, they're rolled and dropped, and you don't know unless you visit that town. And there is some logic that removes the gear with modifiers each day, which I'll get to in a later chapter on consumption. So it's not that it's not happening. It's just happening in towns that you haven't visited on that day. So how do loot drops work? After the battle, each troop or lord that you killed or knocked out gets looted. You get a chance to get the gear that they're using. A random number is rolled, based on your roguery skill, which determines how many pieces of their gear is looted, or rather, how many chances you get to loot their gear. For each chance, a piece of gear is randomly selected. A modifier is rolled and added to it. Then a check to see if the piece is allowed to be a loot drop, and it's added to the list of gear. Some gear, like crowns, are not allowed to be loot drop, so you won't get a crown as battle loot. Since a piece is randomly selected, there is logic to check to see if that piece was already selected from that one troop. If it was, ignore it and continue. That's just to make sure that you don't get more than one of the same item from one troop. To be clear, you can get the same pieces, but from different individual troops. If you kill six Imperial Elite Cataphracts, you can get six of their body armors. You probably won't, but it's possible, and you can always hope. So I can target troops to get the gear they use? Yes, you can. If you want, for example, the heavy scale armor over male hauberk, you can target the Imperial Elite Cataphract. Each time you kill or KO one of them, you get a chance to get a piece of their gear. Since they wear that body armor, it's possible to get it from them. But set your expectations. You get chances to get a piece of their gear, then a random roll for which piece you get. That unit has 10 different pieces of equipment, so don't expect to get that armor after every fight. Is it harder to get higher tier gear like the heavy scale armor? I never see it. Yes, the higher the value of the gear, the lower the chance of it being selected. The way a piece is selected is a list of possible pieces is created from the troop. 
then each piece gets a random check to see if you get that piece. The first one that hits gets added to the list. The formula for the random check is based on the value of the piece and the level of the troop you're getting it from. Basically, the more valuable the piece, the less likely you are to get it. What is town consumption? Each day, a town goes through a consumption process where it takes items from the trader to simulate the townsfolk shopping, I guess. One thing that happens during that process is all crafted weapons and banners are removed from the trader. They aren't sold or traded or consumed. They just disappear as though they never existed. And items with modifiers, like weapons and armor, have a chance of disappearing as well. Each day, each weapon and armor that has a modifier has a 50% chance of being removed. Each day during the consumption process, the town's gold, or is it the trader's gold, whichever, goes through a change. It's designed to bring the gold up or down to be in line with the prosperity of the town. The formula for the gold change is the prosperity times 12 plus 10,000 minus the current gold. All of that times 0.25. So this value is the amount of the change of the town's gold, whether it's positive or negative. It's that rubber band effect to try to bring the gold to a stable value, but doesn't do it all at once. It does it over time. If you have other questions, just ask me. I'll make more videos like this one. If you want me to go over formulas or go over game logic, I can do that. But based on the views from past videos, you guys don't want that. It looks like you really just want logic translated into English and want me to skip all the code and formulas. I can do that too. Either way, just let me know in the comment or in Discord what information you want me to discuss. I have a bunch of video ideas already, but if there's something a bunch of you want to know, I'll prioritize that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.